showed an uncontroversial way of life handed down to you from, from your forefathers. But with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish will be. Praise be to God for the living of us. Let us all be seated. A blessed afternoon to everyone. Amen. Now, in the good word is celebrating Good Friday. They said that uh, Christ died. Uh, and the power, uh, Marami Bawa, there are a lot of uh, restrictions. Amen. But I believe that when Jesus died on the cross, when he said, It is finished. Amen. Now we have to rejoice. Why? Because Jesus did all things for us. Amen. You have to rejoice. You have to rejoice. We 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 have to rejoice. Abut sa langit siya. Amen? Yung palampak po para sa ating buhay na Diyos.
And then that's what Jesus did for us. Amen. Now, without doubt, the best and precious gift that our Heavenly Father has given to us is the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, what does the meaning of the blood of Jesus to us? Now, we said that the blood of Jesus shed for the forgiveness of my sin. Yes, it's true that without the shedding of the blood, there is no remission of sin. But beyond forgiveness, beyond these things, beyond your salvation, what does the blood of Jesus mean? And today and tonight, we would, we would understand the full understanding, the full meaning of why Jesus died on the cross and He shed blood for us. Now, it's not just to forgive us, it's not just to save us, but there are things that Jesus has given us, the blessings of God for us. Now, in, in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, in Leviticus 16, verse 14, in the old times, before they they take the presence of God, they experience the presence of God, they experience the presence of God, the, the power of God, the priest should sprinkle the blood of the blood of the bull seven times into the mercy seat or the Ark of the Covenant. Now, as as he sprinkles the blood with his finger seven times, everybody say seven times. Seven. So seven times, seven means a perfect and complete number of God. That is why God commanded them to sprinkle blood seven times for the priest. Amen. Now, in, in, in the Old Testament, as the priest sprinkled the blood, there are seven fold blessings that they will receive. The presence of God, the provision, the protection, the power, the promise, the peace, and the praise. That's in the Old Testament. Because that's what God told the priest, them to sprinkle the blood seven times. However, in the New Testament, we are now the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are now the temple of God. Say to the person on your right, you are the temple of God. Uh, you are the temple of God. Amen. So we are the temple of the tabernacle with a new covenant. That when we receive Jesus, we are not only sprinkled by the blood, but we have the blood. Amen. And that's why the seven blessings of the shed blood of Jesus is for us. And tonight we will look at the seven blessings of the shed blood of Jesus. So that it's not only the forgiveness, it's not only the salvation that we receive. But God has given us the sevenfold blessing. The seven blessings of the shed blood of Jesus. So that when we go into this world, we have the authority that God has given us. Amen. It's not like uh, salvation lang tayo. But it's only God has saved us. God has forgiven us our sins. And not only that, God has given us the tools. God has given us the blessings so that when we go into this world, we have the, the protection, we have the, the, the blessings that God has given us, that God has promised in His Word. Amen? That's why we, we, the title of our message is The Seven Blessings of the Shed Blood of Jesus. Amen? Say, say to the person on your right, Seven Blessings of the Shed Blood of Jesus. Seven Blessings of the Shed Blood of Jesus. Let us bow down our head as we pray. Heavenly Father, may your word speak unto us, O oh God. And as we study your word, as we, O oh Lord God, receive thy blessing, O oh Lord God, the seven blessings, O oh Lord God, that you have promised to us. Lord, may your name, O oh God, be glorified, O oh God. And let's speak to your people, O oh God. Holy Spirit, teach us. Guide us. And Lord, may your name, O oh Lord God, be exalted, O oh Lord God, as we understand your word tonight, O oh God. Is we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, now, there are seven blessings where Jesus shed his blood. Seven blessings of the shed blood of Jesus. And one of the blessings that Jesus has given us is in the Garden of Gethsemane. Now, why in the Garden of Gethsemane? When Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, remember, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. That's what Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. Now, it's not a coincidence, brothers and sisters, that Jesus redeemed us in the Garden. Because in another Garden, in the Garden of Eden, where God has given us the splendor, where God has given us the blessing, where God has given us the, the, the blessing to Adam and Eve, now, because of that, we, because of the sin that Adam and Eve did against God, we lost those blessings. Now, look at this one here, brothers and sisters. When 
Eve was deceived by Satan. What happened? They ate that fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Tama ba? Amen. Instead of eating the fruit of the tree of life. Amen. So, when, when Eve was deceived by Satan, where God said himself to Adam, Adam, do not eat the fruit of the tree of good and evil. And so, when Eve, deceived, when Eve was deceived by Satan, Adam, Adam willfully disobeyed God. And when Adam willfully disobeyed God, they lost their willpower to say yes to God's blessing. They lost their willpower to say no to, to the words of the devil. And that's why when, 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 when Adam was willfully sinned against God in the Garden of Eden, Adam literally says, in essence, that Lord, not, my, not your will, but my will be done. This was Adam saying to God, that not your will, Lord, but my will be done. And so they disobeyed God. They ate that fruit that God forbids them. Amen. They restricted that because everything God said that everything is for you except that tree, the tree of good and evil. Amen. Can you follow? Amen. And so, when they disobeyed God, when Adam and Eve disobeyed God, they sinned against God, they were out on the Garden of Eden. Amen. And so, Jesus redeemed that willpower that we lost because of the sin of Adam when he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane, when he said, Lord, not, your, not my will, but your will be done. In the Garden of Eden, Adam said, Lord, not your will, but my will be done. However, Jesus redeemed us, Jesus redeemed us uh, uh, from in the Garden of Gethsemane, saying, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. Amen. And that is why when Jesus shed his blood in the Garden of Gethsemane, he prayed a lot. He prayed in that Garden of Gethsemane where sweat and blood joined together. And that is what we call in, in medical term hematidrosis. The blood and sweat joined together. And that's why the blood that, is, that was uh, fallen down to the ground, Jesus redeemed our willpower that we lost in the Garden of Eden. Now what does the willpower say? The willpower to say no to the works of the devil. The willpower to say yes to God's will. Now, I, I, I remember when I, were, when, I was, when I was not yet a believer, I was always saying my New Year's resolution is not to drink anymore. Amen? But after two days, I find myself drinking the same thing. Why? Because I don't have the blood. I don't have the, the blood that will strengthen me to stop these things. But now, because of the shed blood of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus redeemed our real power to say no to the works of the devil, to say no to the things that we always do, which is not against, which is against God. That's what Jesus redeemed us when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. He redeemed our real power. And now we can say, Drink uh, alcohol, I, I, I will no longer taste your hand. Amen? Have you ever said that thing? Amen? Now, God has given you the willpower to do these things. God has given you to, to, to do things like, Lord, I will, I will serve you. And when you say you will serve the Lord, Amen? He will do, he, you, he will be strengthened by the blood of Jesus that shed in the garden of Jethro. Hello? The first blessing is Jesus redeemed us, redeemed our willpower that we can say no to drinking, no to smoking, no to the lying things, no to the things which is not for God, and yes to the will of the Lord for our lives. Amen? And when you choose to break the curse of your life, the power and blood of Jesus will strengthen you and you will no longer be bound. You will be set free to do God's work in our lives. Amen? So the first blessing is at the, at, at the Garden of Gethsemane when Jesus redeemed our willpower to say yes to God's will, to God's purpose in our life, and no to the work of the devil. Amen. 
Now the second blessing is at the weeping post. Now look at this one. At the weeping post, these are the 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 verses where Matthew 27 verse 26 it says when the people send Jesus to Pontius Pilate and Pontius Pilate don't want to judge him. So what did Pontius Pilate do? He said, uh, what is your judgment to the people? Because he don't want to, to give the verdict to Jesus. And so what happened is the people said, release Barabbas and block Jesus and Jesus sent to the cross. And so that happened that when when uh, Barabbas was released, Jesus has to be plugged at the whipping post unto the cross. Amen? So, these are the claws, the black room that they use. You could just imagine these things. You could just imagine those equipment that they use, the Romans used in flooding Jesus. Amen? Now, uh, how many times did Jesus was plugged? Deuteronomy 25. Verse 3 says, But he must not give him more than 40 lashes. If he is plugged more than that, your brother will be degraded in your eyes. Now, the uh, Bible scholar says there are 39 lashes that Jesus received to his body. He received 39 lashes of this kind of flag room. You can just imagine those flag room. Grave. See this one as it touches your, as it with your body, the, the body tissues will come out. Amen? Because of this kind of equipment that they use. Now, it's not a coincidence, brothers and sisters, why 39 blushes Jesus received. Now, uh, the World Health Organization, according to World Health Organization, there are 39 kinds of diseases known to men. Known to men. Either communicable diseases or non-communicable diseases. This is according to the World Health Organization. And because of that, it's not a coincidence why, why brothers and sisters, that Jesus was plugged down 39 times. It, it, it means that 39 times Jesus was plugged down because 39 times he wants us to be healed from these kinds of diseases. Every time he received this kind of plug, cancer has been defeated. High, high blood has been defeated. Amen. My pain has been defeated. Amen. Every time he received this plug, you are released from this kind of diseases according to the word. Amen? And that is why when Jesus was plucked down, he's ready for us, for, for us to, re, to release. He's ready for us to receive the healing that we need in our lives. Amen? Now, the question is this. Many question is, can Jesus heal? Yes, absolutely. He can heal because of the blood that flowed from his body. The blood that he is that he, come out from his body, bring back or redeem our help. And by, by his stripes, he says in Isaiah 53 verse 5, see, with his stripes, we are healed. Amen? You are healed by his stripes. And that's why the stripes at the back of our Lord Jesus Christ redeem our help. This is what God wants us to, to have a healthy life. Say to them, you have a healthy life. You have a healthy life. Are you healthy? Amen. 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 That's what Jesus did for us. He is willing to He's willing to heal us from all our sickness and diseases. That's why every time he, he received this kind of lashes, kind of, of blood that he received from his body, he is willing to heal us. Amen. He is willing to heal us, either communicable or non-communicable diseases. That's why no longer do you have lived under the curse of sickness and diseases. You have been set free by the precious blood of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus will strengthen us as we are experiencing this kind of diseases. Now the third blessing. The third blessing when thorn bush was placed on his forehead. Now when Ada was obeying God, he had everything he needed. Everything they have is in the Garden of Eden. Everything literally is in the land, flowing with milk and honey. But when Adam disobeyed God, God declared the curse that came upon the land through Adam's sin. Now, what is this uh, thorn bush? 
Now, in, in Genesis 31, verse 7 to 19, it says, First is the ground because of you, through painful toil, you will eat of it all the days of your life. This is when Adam and Eve disobeyed God. They had sinned against God. And so, it will produce, it says that, through painful toil, you will eat of it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles. Now, for you, and you eat the plants of the field, and by the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food until you return to the ground. Since from it you were taken for dust, you uh, you are the, and to dust you uh, you no, are no. and to dust you will return. Now, uh, God cursed the land. God cursed the ground with thorns and thistles. By the sweat of his brow, man would work hard in existence. Man would work hard in existence. Since that day, mankind has sweated for everything it has gotten. When Adam sinned, no longer could we live in the God's abundance and splendor. Now, in, 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 this, uh, in, in this verse, Matthew 27, 29, when Jesus, after flogging, he was sent to the Mount Calvary, where they saw a crown of thorns and set it on his head. They twisted that crown and twisted and put it on his forehead. And then what happened is that crown of thorn is a symbol of poverty. Now, the crowns of thorns that they put at the forehead of our Lord Jesus Christ is a symbol of curse of poverty in the land. And that is why when Jesus was, was uh, receiving these crowns of thorns and put it on his forehead, blood flowed from his forehead. And when Jesus' blood flowed from his forehead, Jesus redeemed us, redeemed our prosperity. Amen? From the curse of poverty, because Jesus, when his blood shed, when they put the crown of thorns on his forehead and blood flowed from his head, Jesus redeemed Jesus redeemed us from the curse of poverty. And Jesus redeemed us to prosperity. Amen? And that is why Hindi, uh, it's, not, it's, not, uh, it's not forbidden for the Christian to be more prosperous. God made us prosperous. Amen? Hindi, it's not the thing that dahil nagihirap yung ibang magsano, nagihirap din tayo dapat. Hindi, God has prospered us. God, already, God has already redeemed us from the poverty to prosperity. Amen. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you are prosperous. You are prosperous. Hallelujah. The crown of thorns at the forehead of our Lord Jesus Christ redeemed our prosperity. Our God is the Lord of harvest and in the year of the Lord's favor, this year, this year, 2017, is the year of the Lord's favor. It's the year of harvest, the year of prosperity, the year of healing, the year of prosperity, the year of blessing that God has promised to those who believe in His Word. Amen. So, the first blessing, what is that? Jesus redeemed us, redeem our real power. Amen. The second blessing is at the living cause. Jesus redeemed us from our hell. Amen. And then the third one, the third one is the crown of thorns that they put at the forehead of our Lord Jesus Christ redeemed us for our prosperity. Our prosperity. Amen. So, uh, willpower, help, and prosperity. prosperity. Amen. Now, the fourth one, the blessing was from the spikes in his head. Now, as we saw in the film, in the, in the film, that they were putting that spikes, that nails, at the head of our Lord Jesus Christ. You could just imagine this kind of, of nails as they put in the hands of our Lord Jesus Christ. Imagine, in the butas, where the soldiers pounded the spikes to nails, to nail him to the cross. I believe that through the blood shed from his nail pierced hands, God says everything we put our hands to be uh, to He will cause to prosper. Everything we put in our hands will cause to prosper. When, when, when Adam was in the Garden of Eden, everything prospers. Everything prospers as 
uh, in Genesis 1, verse 26 to 28, where be fruitful, when God said, be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth, subdue it, rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, and over every living thing, or creature, that moves on the ground. That every time Adam touches, when, we, when he was at the Garden of Eden, everything prospers. And I do believe that us, when Jesus, when they put that spice in the nail of our Lord Jesus Christ and blood shed at the cross, Jesus re redeemed us our dominion over the things we touch. Jesus redeemed our dominion over the things we touch. That Jesus laid his hands down, he didn't resist his opponents. He just laid his body down and they drove these spikes into his hands and all of those who believe in him, amen, will receive the blessing that God has given us. Amen. The word of God says we have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Our authority has been redeemed. Our dominion has been redeemed. We need to take our hands, lay them on everything, and claim the blessings of God with authority by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So we have to, we have to do our task. God has given us the hand. Amen. But sometimes we we don't know the authority that God has given us. You have the authority. You have the authority. You have the authority. You have the authority. You have the authority to trample down the snakes and scorpions. You have the authority to heal. God has given us authority in our hands. Amen. That we can claim. We can claim the blessing of the Lord. And every time we lay our hands to the sick, they will be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Every time we lay our hands, hindi na mamatay yung mga pinagpembray mo. Amen. Bakos buhay. Amen. Eh, kung mamatay mo, praise God. You know, will you, Lord? Amen. But that's the will of the Lord. God has given us authority in our hands. Use the authority that God has given you. The laying on hands has a power. Amen. To claim blessing even to other people and even to us. At kung ikaw may sakit, lay your hands on your head. Amen. Praise God. At gagaling ka. Amen. Sino rin itong gusto kumaling? Sino rin itong gusto kumaling? Prosper. Amen. We want to prosper. Amen. But we don't know that the blessing of the Lord is with us. That's why we are teaching this thing so that hindi po tayo uh, innocent sa mga bagay na, na, na binigay sa atin ng Diyos. Because the bloodshed of Jesus did not stop when that blood just shed on the cross. Because the blood of Jesus has a power even now. Amen. Amen. It has a power to change from miracles, to give miracles for us. Amen. Then we need to use that authority, we need to use that power that God has given us. First, He has given us the wind power. The second, He has given us the help. The third, he has given us prosperity. Amen. That is why we can say to, the, to your brothers, you are gone. Uh, how you call the, the rich man? Don. Don. Amen. Don. 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 Pastor Ernie. Praise God. Don. Pastor Ernie. Don. Wendy. I don't know how we, how we call the rich people in Nigeria. Do they call Don and Donya also? I don't know. Uh, how you call them? Sorry? Boss. 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 Redeem our dominion over the things we touch. And it will flourish. It will prosper as we touch. And they will be healed as Jesus promised. Amen? Now, the fifth one is from the spikes in his feet. Now, look at this one here. When Adam disobeyed God in the Garden of, Jesus, in the Garden of Eden, he lost dominion and authority. And at the moment, Satan became the God of this world. But through the Jesus, through the shed, the shed blood of Jesus, 
We don't have to be trampled by Satan. Instead, we are to trample him. Amen. We are to trample Satan. We should not be afraid of these things. That Satan should be afraid to us. Hindi yung matutulog ng gabi, takot. Amen? We should not be like that. We should have the authority. Amen? Satan, get out. Amen? The bloodshed of Jesus from His feet also redeemed us from our loss of dominion and authority. When, when Adam willfully disobeyed God, we lost that authority. Now, we have been commanded to go into the world and preach the good news to all creation. Uh, Pastor, I'm not so ready to preach. I'm not so ready to, to, to say good things. My brother, my sister, your testimony alone can speak good message to those people who are lost. And if you are not so, so, so familiar with poor spiritual law, then share your testimony. Amen? Share your testimony. Share that how God, how, how you receive miracles from God. Amen? And tell them, come to the church and see how good our God is. Come and taste. That's, uh, I don't know about Come and see. Come on, well. Taste and see. Amen? Taste and see how good our God is. That's in the songs. Let's taste the Lord. Amen? And see the miracles that God has given us. Now, we are still looking for miracles. I haven't seen miracles in my life. You know, when you were transformed, when you were changed, that's already a miracle. Yeah. Amen? That before you were so alcoholic, you were so uh, uh, smokers, but because of the blood of Jesus, you were transformed. Amen? Amen? You no longer drink, Amen. but you drink the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. You, no, you no longer smoke. Amen? But the Holy Spirit is in you. Amen? We can see the Shekinah glory in you. That's a miracle already that we need to see. Amen? That's the miracle that, that the best thing that God has changed us is already a miracle. We would not look for any tangible miracles, healing and whatever, but we ourselves are already a miracle. Amen? On the word of God. Amen. Sabi mo sa tabi mo, say to the person, you are a miracle from God. You are a miracle from God. Hallelujah. Amen. As a believer, you have the authority to walk around your neighbor and say, I bind the devil in my neighbor. I bind the drug addicts in my neighbor. I bind the smokers in my neighbor. Amen. Even your neighboring room. I bind the snoring in my room. I <laughs> what? Amen. Hallelujah. When we bind the devil, our next step is to lose the peace of Jesus in our in the streets. After we bind, we need to lose the blessing. Amen. The blessing of righteousness, the blessing of healing, the blessing of peace, the blessing of joy we release. Amen. We lose in the name of Jesus. Amen. So the fifth blessing was from the spikes. See. Deuteronomy 11, 24, every place where you set your foot will be yours. And then it says your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon and from the Euphrates River to the Western Sea. Amen. Not only to Lebanon, you've been to Georgia, you've been to Armenia, you've been to ano ba ba yung mga uh, places. Amen. So we need, to, we need to use the authority that God, you know, uh, even if you are uh, a Filipino, they say that Filipinos are the most efficient and effective evangelists. Tama ba yun? Tama ba ako? As, as Pastor Samuel was saying when he preached here, amen? He, they, they, were so, they were so proud about the Filipino because the Filipino can preach. The Filipino can, can share, can share the word of God. Hello? Amen? Hindi natin, ayaw natin gamitin. We don't want to use the authority that God has given us. We don't want to use the testimony that God has given us. No, Yun lang pinagaling ka ng Diyos. It's a testimony. Hello? Amen. Yun lang, yun lang ikaw eh, 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 binigyan ng panibagong trabaho. It's a testimony. Amen. Amen. And I do believe that God has given us testimony 
so that we can preach, we can, we can tell, we can testify that our God is alive. Amen? Amen. That is why he, he said that our God is alive. And, but sometimes we are not alive. Our God is alive, but we are sleeping. Amen? We lost the opportunity. God has given us someone, but we lost that opportunity. We, got, we even lost to say, God loves you. Praise the Lord for your life. We, we lost those opportunities. But God is telling us tonight that everywhere you go, preach the good news. Preach Jesus. Amen. Everywhere you go, God has given us authority to trample down snakes and scorpions. Everywhere we go, amen, God has given us the authority to, to share, to speak about the good news of our salvation. Amen. Kahit sa mga katibahay natin, kahit sa mga katabing kwarto natin. Amen. Let's be an example. We should be an example to other people so that they will see the glory of God in you. Ano kaya ang meron nito? Amen. What is in this man that we cannot, we cannot resist him to come to the church? Hello. Gee, we need to invite other people. We need to invite them to the lost, to the unrighteous, to those people who are lost, who are sinners. We were all sinners before, are we? Hello? We are all sinners. But because of the grace and mercy of the Lord, we are here. And it's not only here we will stand, it's not only here we will just attend every Friday. But God has a purpose for us. God has given us a destiny. God has given us a purpose so that other people who are lost, amen, they will receive, they will, they will know Jesus. Amen? Hindi natin dapat itago. Hindi dapat na secret agent ka. Marami rito secret agent. Ay, kinapastor na lang yan. Pag nandun na yung pagkakataon, share the good news. Share the gospel. Because every place where you set your foot will be yours. That's what the Lord said. See, your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon. Hallelujah. The, the pure spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ will give our dominion over the places we walk. That when we walk in every place we walk is for Jesus. Amen. Amen. When we go in unto sa Jebel Ali, if you are in Jebel Ali, every time you walk there, Lord, that this place will be yours. Amen. That these people that you are giving me is an opportunity for me to share the good news. Lord, the place where I belong, where I live, I can share Jesus in my life. Amen? Hello? Amen? Amen. Now, bakit? Kasi that's what God has commanded us. We will not just sit down here. Amen? We know that Dubai is a place where so many Filipinos, so many nationalities, even, even other nationalities, they don't even know how to speak the proper way of English. So let's take that opportunity. Amen? Let's take that opportunity to speak. Amen? The good news of salvation that other, you know, one of my, one of my friends before in, in Sarja, when we were in Sarja, what he did was to memorize all the verses. He memorized all the verses so that when when he shares the word of God, he will just say all the verses. With simple simple add-in, with simple additives or simple uh, additional thing from his uh, treasured English words plus the word of God. Amen. It's, it's a miracle. Amen. He even testified to the church before in, in, in Sarja, that you know, brother, when I recite the word of God to them, I said, come for me. But they don't know it's the word of God. Amen? I, he, he don't say the verses, but he just say all those those verse. He, he, he say, he, he say those memorized verse that he had, plus a little English that he had. Amen? Voila. Amen? All the people coming into the church. And God used him, you know. God him because he was also only a helper. 
he was on the, on the help and he did not finish high school, but by his grace, by the grace of God. E tayo nga rito, nakagali na, master's pa, college pa, graduate, with rings. Huh? And wings. Hallelujah. But it all ends there, sitting. Hallelujah. Now take note of this, brothers and sisters. Are you ready to take dominion? Are you ready to take dominion? Are you ready to take Dubai for Jesus? Amen. Are we ready? Para mo lang hindi. Amen. That's how. Kailangan pang pupukin. We, we need to, to pang tayo decent. Amen. Are we ready to, to, to share Jesus to our neighbors? We cannot. Because we just wanted to be, we just wanted the salvation for us. I own nothing. But this is what the Lord said. Every place where you go, every place where you walk is for Jesus. Amen. It's an opportunity for us to go and preach, to go, grow and grow. Amen. In the kingdom of God. Remember this, brothers and sisters. We are living in the kingdom of God. Yes, we are in Dubai, but we are the citizens in heaven. Amen. And when you are a citizen in heaven, you have a duty so that others will receive Jesus, so that others will also know Jesus in you. Amen. Amen. Can we give a clap offering to those? Can we just give a clap offering as God remembers you? Do sa tao na nagpakilala sa iyo kay Jesus. Kilala mo sa mga? Why the broken hearted? 
Why to the brokenhearted? Why to the poor? Because God desires for His people to live in joy. Amen. He wants all of the people to live in joy. And even though that we have trials, problems in life, God wants us to rejoice. Especially those who believe in the name of Jesus. Now, we have the strength to fight a good fight of faith. Jesus will stop the curse and He will reverse the curse. He will heal your pain and once the healing has taken place, you won't be bitter anymore. Now, when Jesus said, the broken hearted, so that the broken hearted, the poor, those who are needy, will have also joy. That when you have joy, your faith will be strengthened. Amen? When you have joy, your faith will be strengthened. And when you, have, you are free from the bondage of sin, you are no longer bitter, but you become better. And when you are happy, your light shines to those who haven't received Jesus. They will see different things in you. Do they shine? Amen. 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 Are you shining? Hallelujah. Amen. So, the pierced heart of our Lord Jesus Christ redeemed our joy. And that is why in the Bible it's also said that when you are experiencing trials, problems, rejoice. Amen? Sabay na kalagay. James. James 1 2. James. Amen. 1 2 to 4. So James, in Abidya, rejoice. And then he said, rejoice. Rejoice always. Na kahit na may problem, na kahit may pinagdadaanan ka, sabi ng Diyos in Tagalog, daanan mo lang. Ama ba? Daanan mo lang problema, daanan mo lang yan. Lilipas din yan. Tama ba? Sorry for the Tagalog word, brother. Amen. Next time you will speak in Nigerian word. Hallelujah. Amen. When you have problem, just walk over. Amen. Hayaan mo lang yung problema. Hayaan mo mamroblema yung problema sa'yo. Huwag mo problema yung problema. Tama ba? Amen. Sino rito ang nakaranas sa problema? Amen. Tanong lahat nakaranas sa prayer. Pero tignan nyo. Sino rito ang overcome yun? Amen. Amen. Sino rito naka-overcome sa mga problema? Amen. Now, when you experience problem, when you experience trial, you thank God. Why? Because it's another opportunity for you to increase the faith, the level of your faith. Amen? And you will see God from glory to glory unto perfection. You will see how God our good is. And because of the abundance of the heart, we can sing. Amen? We can sing. We can shout. We can tell to other people how good our God is. Come, taste, and see how good our God is. Ang problema, hindi natin naranas. Naranasan nyo ba? Ang gumaling. Naranasan nyo bang pagpalaay kayo ng Diyos? Amen. Amen. Naranasan nyo nakikita. When we are. Yes, we always say, yes, we are blessed. But they know, brothers and sisters, others need blessing. Other people who are lost need blessing. Bring them into the house of the Lord so that they too will experience the, the blessing of the Lord that He has given us. He has given us the seven blessings. Amen. He has given us the willpower. He has given you the hands, the feet. Amen. He has given us prosperity. Amen. But sometimes we always go back. Amen. To the words of the devil in our mind. The battle is in the mind. The battle says, Oh, may pastor dyan. Yung pastor na lang mag-ano, mag-share. May elders dyan. Yung na lang elders sa mag-share. Yung evangelism na lang mag-share. Ay, oo nga. Kaya marami, oo nga. Oo nga, ay, oo nga, worship team ako eh. Ay, oo nga, prayer team ako eh. Let's not limit. Excuse me. Let's not limit. The power of God in us. Let's not limit the authority that God has given us. Do you have that authority? Let me ask you again. Do you have that authority? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God has promised us. Amen. That God has given us the authority. The, the, the sixth one, God redeemed our joy. When Jesus <coughs> shed blood as they put the spear on his side, Jesus Redeem our joy. Amen? Now, the seventh blessing what was in his bruises. <coughs> Isaiah 53, verse 5. Can we all read together? He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Amen. Now, iniquity means wicked. 
we can act or sin. That's the meaning of iniquity. It can also be understood as a spirit that tries to break our uh, our self, that tries to break us down. It's a spiritual force that pressures us to bow down in the works of the devil. That's what we call iniquity. Again, if I may say again, iniquity means we can see, we can up. <coughs> now, it can also be understood as any spirit that tries to break down, that tries to break us down. It is also a spiritual force that on the inside that pressures us to bow down, to bend our knees under its destructive nature, under Satan. That's what it means. Now, Jesus, a while ago, was wounded from the outside. And Jesus, in this verse, in this seventh blessing, he was also wounded on the inside. The bruises. Amen. And, and yung mga pasa, it calls them the iniquities or the wicked act of sin where it is understood as the spirit that tries to break down or to break us down. It is a spiritual force on the inside that pressures us to bow or bend under its destructive nature. Now, if you are bruised on your body, it means you are bleeding on the inside. Some bruise last long time. But only, not only will I forgive that what they, are, uh, what they have done to ourselves, but I'm going to give the power of the inside so they can walk in total victory. God has not given us only the power from the outside, but He has given us the power to trample down the works of the devil in our lives. Now, the, the, the spiritual forces, which are the generation curse even that we received from our forefathers, we were cursed, we don't know, from our forefathers and even up to our generations. Now, sa sarili lahi mo, lahat kayo mamamatay ng high blood. Sino nito na may hirang sa mga garaman? Sa sarili lahi mo, mamamatay lahat kayo sa sakit na uh, keto. Many, many curses has been spoken to our forefathers na hindi natin alam kung ano nangyari. Or our forefathers, baka magkukulang may mga, uh, sorry for the word, brother. Huh? Uh, let the brother... Uh, Robert. <laughs> Explain. Amen? So, we were cursed. And the generation of curse means that uh, and we were, and, and Jesus, when he was, when he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. That this is what the willingness of God for us to be free. Free from the sin that we have done against him. The sin that, the, the wounds on the outside and the wounds on the inside. And that is why in, in, in the seventh blessing, just the bruise of our Lord Jesus Christ redeemed our deliverance from inner hurts and iniquities. God said, not only will I forgive you what they've done on the outside, but I'm going to change that person on the inside. So we have done the power to change our lifestyles. We have done the power to change our ways according to the will of God. Jesus shed his blood on the inside as well as on the outside. He was bruised inside to change the person on the inside. To change the nature that causes them to hurt or sufferings. Through his blood, we are not just free, but we are free indeed. That when Jesus said you are free, you are free indeed. Amen. The wounds that he received from the outside and the inside, that's the willingness of God for us to be delivered from the inner hurts and iniquities in our lives. And that is why the seven blessings that God has given us tonight will remind us that God loves us. Will remind us that God did not only go to heaven and leave us nothing, but God went to heaven and He has the seven blessings that we have to use, that we have to do, so that in this world, in this place, we can be effective servants of God in the kingdom of God. Amen. It's not only that we will just receive the blessing, the salvation, collapse, finish. No. God wants us to step more on our faith, to step more, to do more in the kingdom of God. And as we do these things, 
we see how God moves in our lives. Amen? And we see the power of God moving. We will not only hear the miracles, but we will experience the miracle Amen. that God has given us. Amen. Amen? And that is why here, in the seven blessings of the shed blood of Jesus, first is in the Garden of Gethsemane. What was that? Will. Our willpower. Our willpower to say no to the works of the devil in our lives. Our willpower to say yes to God's will in our lives. Amen? The second blessing was at the weeping post. At the weeping post where Jesus won back our health. Amen? That God is absolutely ready for us to be healed. God is really willing to heal us. Amen? Say to the person, God willingly uh, wants to heal you. God willingly wants to heal you. Amen. See, at the weeping post, and then our, our, uh, on his forehead were the thorns of crowns. The thorns of crown, the crown of thorns were put at the forehead of our Lord Jesus Christ, which means it is the symbol of the curse of poverty in the land. When the blood shed at the forehead of our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus won back our prosperity. Amen? Say to the person in your hi, Don. Hi, Donya. Hi, Don. Hi, Don. Hi, Don. Hi, Don. Hi, boss. Hallelujah. And then from his hands, Jesus won back our dominion over the things we touch. And then from his feet, Jesus won back our dominion over the places we walk. And tonight, from now on, every time we walk into the place, amen, we could say, this place, Lord, is for you. Amen. amen. Lord, I pray that this place, these people in my room, living in this room, in my place, amen, will also worship you in spirit. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. And then into his heart, Jesus' peace heart won back our joy. 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 We did not know joy, but in this church we have joy. Amen. And that is why when we experience these things, when we have problems in life, we should rejoice. Rejoice, always rejoice. Amen. And then the seventh one is in his bruises, where Jesus won back our deliverance over the thing of the inner hurts and iniquities. This is how God loves us. He don't want us to be just living here and being tossed and fro by the Satan, by the devil in our lives. But God has given us the seven blessings, the authority that we can use, amen, so that the words of the devil will not prevail in our lives. The blood of Jesus is the key to the power and blessing of the Bible. Today, you can go from being one who just hears the word to being one who understands and receives the blessing of God. Today, you can go from being one who just hears about the miracles to being one who actually experiences miracles in their lives. Amen. Hallelujah. God's word will not do one thing for you until it goes from your head to your heart and to your spirit. The way we move from being angry to being loving is by the blood of Jesus. The way we move from being sad to being joyful is by the blood of Jesus. The way we move from being poor to always being blessed is by the blood of Jesus. The way we move from being defeated into being victorious is by the blood of Jesus. Trust God today to help you to be true to His Word. And when you trust Him to help you overcome your shortcomings by the power of His blood, the blood of Jesus is still alive. We can still use the blood of Jesus. Amen. And God has given us this blood so that we can have the authority so that any works of the devil will never prevail in our lives. That in choosing God's way, you are choosing victory in our lives. It's time to believe in the, in, in the God who believes in you. Amen? It's time to believe in the God who believes in you. God believes in you. Hello? And when God believes in you, He has given us the seven blessings. He has given us the willpower to change our, 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 our thinking. 
He has given us the willpower to change our thinking from bad to good. Amen. And God has given us the prosperity that we desire. God has given us the prosperity. And if you ask for promotion, if you ask for a good job, God will provide it. Amen. Hallelujah. Who among you here believe that? Who among you here believe that when you lay down your hands to the sick, they will be healed? Who among you here believe that when you go to the place where Jesus has not been spoken, you, you, they would receive to you. They would receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 And who among you here believe that you can cast out devil by the blood of Jesus? Amen. Hallelujah. Let us all stand as we close in prayer.